Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to a new unboxing video. We have a small box today from Hobby Link Japan. You know, as always, it's always Hobby Link Japan. Where do you get your figures? Hobby Link Japan, about 90% of the time. Anyway, I'm ranting. Let's get this box open. Alright, box is open. And let's see what all we have in here. I already know, but, you know. I like to surprise you guys. Granted, nothing in this box is particularly incredible, I would say. But, you know, should be cool nonetheless. Alright, first off, we have got the first brand new kaiju from Ultraman. Rube. <laughs> I hate calling it Rube so much. You'll usually hear me referring to it as Ultraman RB because I think that sounds a little bit nicer than, or as it sometimes comes across as, lube. So let's not. But yeah, let's take a look at Grugio Bone here. Hmm. You know, I must say the paint is pretty lacking on this guy. I'm very sad that we're only getting like one DX figure from rb so far and it's i don't even know what the monster's name is but it's something coming like in the later part of the series or something so hugely disappointing that our first brand new kaiju from the series isn't even a dx figure and as such he has lackluster paint applications but hey you know i might know someone who can help me out with that wink wink nudge nudge future kaiju customs maybe you know anyway i'm ranting Grugio Bone. Sculpt is pretty decent, but yeah, paint obviously is not spectacular. Next up, we have the second original kaiju from RB. Gubasar. Guebasa. I don't however you want to say that. You could say it like Aizen Makoto does. Guebasa. Yeah. Um I already have Magabasa, the DX figure from Orb, um, but, you know, I, I always try to get, like, any new or exciting uh, smaller figures. I, I guess they're still Spark Dolls, technically, that's just what I call them. Um, yeah, like, I, I'm not a huge fan of Gooey Bossers design. Like, it's kind of cool, like a Phoenix, but I always think Bossar looks cooler as, like, a Wyvern type monster like its color scheme and orb but yeah paint application on gue Buster is e even worse than grugio bone which is rather disappointing yeah funny how bandai on this type of figure is able to get those shin godzilla like eyes down pretty well but you know companies like tamashi can't with monster arts just a funny side thing to notice and finally gargle gone uh not the dx version i've been wanting to get the dx version of gargle gone for so long but i just haven't gotten around to it i guess yeah, sure we'll go with that but yeah like I, I just picked up this figure you know these these are like four dollar figures on hobby link when you buy them so i figured just why not pick up gargle gone because I, I like the kaiju but man she does not get the best treatment when it comes to figures i hate how they do gargle guns shoulder heads how they're just like kind of just there stuck in one position i know this isn't figure arts or monster arts or anything but you know like you could do a little bit better i feel but yeah, I'll pick up the X gargle gun someday. Yeah, see if you try to move like the arms at all with the heads attached, it just doesn't work. You have to like keep gargle gun in this single position. But yeah, I'll get the DX gargle gun one day. One day. Eventually. But not today. But yeah, that about wraps up this unboxing video. You know, it, it's disappointing to say the least that 
Grugio Bone isn't a DX figure because I, I, I kind of like his design and I really like his roar for some odd reason. And also that Guebasser isn't a DX figure considering that a sculpt already exists for a DX Basser. But Bandai's got to make more money somehow so you have to make more variations of the same monster in toy form. And Gargolgon is fine. I'll get the DX version at some point, and I probably won't ever look at this version again, but, you know, it's something. I've at least got some form of Gargolgon in my collection. So, yeah. Honestly, I don't know what else to say. This isn't, like, the most exciting unboxing in the world. Um, but Grugio Bone will have a, a rather cool video related to him coming at some point here. So definitely be on the lookout for that. But yeah, I don't want to drag this video out too long. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys here next time with whatever it is that I have to offer. I'd like to give thanks to Jimmy Moore, GWRZilla, Jeff King, Johnny Sacco, and a very special thank you to Ultriab for being Patreon supporters during this period. If you want to learn how you too can support this channel and earn some awesome rewards in the process, be sure to visit patreon.com slash daikaiju legends.